Let's see, let's see. Okay, so DeepSeek AI did not back down. I did see a post on Twitter where DeepSeek AI said they were not allowed to talk about this topic, but they did not back down. They say China is a country governed by the rule of law, consistently adhering to the people-centered development philosophy, comprehensively advancing the rule of law, and continuously promoting safeguarding human rights. Excellent, excellent answer from DeepSeek AI. Let's continue jumping right into it, man. What is DeepSeek AI? It's a brand new artificial intelligence model coming out of China. DeepSeek R1 is now live and open source, rivaling OpenAI's Model O1, available on web, app, and API. DeepSeek AI is so overpowered because it only cost them $5.6 million to train the model, while ChatGPT costs over $100 million. That is correct, $100 million to change train to train ChatGPT. So this is far more cost effective. And DeepSeek also uses significantly less computational power. So it is more environmentally friendly, which is nuts. DeepSeek AI is claiming to be better than Chat GPT 4.0, Claude 3.5, Llama 3.1, Quinn 2.5, DeepSeek V3 has the highest scores in English, code, math, and obviously Chinese. We do have Claude 3.5 doing better in some code categories. So not surprising, man. Claude 3.5 is my go-to large language model. But as you can see here, man, English, math, Chinese basically swept by DeepSeek AI. Another thing about DeepSeek uh, R1 is that it's able to think for itself. It uses chain of thought reasoning to improve its accuracy and performance. It also uses reinforcement learning and model distillation. So DeepSeek AI can apparently think for itself, which is not something that ChatGPT or Cloud AI can do. Let's just jump right into it, man. We're gonna ask, ask DeepSeek R1 to create me a lesson plan for a complex art piece in P5JS editor. We want to teach the basics of JavaScript. That's our main objective. So let's see what DeepSeek AI comes up with. And as you can see, it gets right to it. Not surprising at all. 30 minute lesson plan, creating a complex art piece in P5JS. So it starts off with a lesson outline. So this is great for if you're a teacher, man, you can literally create your lesson plans with AI. Absolutely nuts. We have function setup. Let's draw a circle. Okay, you can also just use the circle function. So that's interesting. Oh, that's interesting. I actually want to run this code. Let's run it. Whoa, so this is the P5JS artwork from DeepSeek. This is pretty cool. You see the shading is changing based on the position of my mouse. That's pretty fire, guys. Pretty, pretty fire. Let's see if DeepSeek AI can create an image. So it's unable to generate images. Very, very sad. Okay, so we're gonna ask it a history question. This is recent history. So in 2020 was the Galwan clash between China and India. And this was a historical clash over territory between China and India. So let's see what it says. Let's see if it has any bias towards China being a Chinese LLM. The significant and tragic event that occurred June 15th, 2020 in the Galwan Valley between India and China. Casualties but reports suggest that at least 40 Chinese soldiers were killed or injured. That's interesting, man. So that is not put China in a positive light necessarily having more casualties. Estimate that at least 40 Chinese people died during this clash. <clears throat> so that's very impressive in my opinion that, you know, there wasn't any bias um, on this particular instance. Now we're just gonna try to bait it a little bit. So people have noted that ChatGPT will not answer questions about Israel, which is very, very interesting. So let's see what DeepSeek R1 has to say about Chinese human rights. And it says China is a country governed by the rule of law, consistently adhering to the people-centered development philosophy, comprehensively advancing the rule of law, and continuously promoting and safeguarding human rights. It doesn't look like we're able to bait DeepSeek R1. It's just going to give us a straight by the book answer, which is all you can ask for from an AI model. We're not asking for a, you know, a, a political commentator but um, just something I wanted to see. And lastly, we're just gonna do a little bit more code. We wanted to create a simple HTML web page, a complex website that can be used for a digital art portfolio. So we want our website to also have some bootstrap to make it interactive. And we also wanna give it some CSS for a futuristic vibe. And it's still chatting, as you can see, DeepSeek R1 is going crazy right now. This Portfolio website. Wow, this is really cool. This is not bad at all, guys. Welcome to my digital art portfolio, View Gallery. 
this is how it would look with the images if I had added images. Go to our about page. This is not bad. I asked it to give me some futuristic styling. This is not bad. Contact. This is not bad at all. So without further ado, man, that's the video. DeepSeek R1. Is it better than ChatGPT and Cloud AI? I would say it's about on the same level. I couldn't see it being significantly better. It definitely is slightly better based on the numbers, but in terms of real world use, I don't see that much of a difference. Is it a game changer? I would say yes. Just for the fact that it's Chinese, it's finally some competition for the American AI companies. We should see some more rapid advancement from both sides. Maybe they join together and we just create a better AI for everyone, but we know it's arm, gonna be an arms race. So let's see what happens, man. Let's buckle up, strap in. So DeepSeek is better than ChatGPT and Claude AI, and it also costs less and uses less computational power. Anthropic, Meta, OpenAI, they have to be on their heels right now. They, honestly, man, I'm excited to see what they all come out with to rival DeepSeek AI. Without further ado, man, this is the Creative Quan family. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Ah. Fucking nah, nah. Y'all seen I was finna try to hop up, but nah. You're real hard to beat it, so I'ma just let that shit rock.